Well, this time we're going to start in Italy, where the number of confirmed new infections is still going upwards. Overall, the rate the figures are rising is said to be slower than previous days and weeks, even if in the worst hit region, the northern part Lombardy, the daily tally does seem to have jumped. Officials are warning the public not to let their guard down. To get the latest, let's cross to Seema Gupta in Rome. Seema, what is exactly the situation when it comes to the cases there in Italy? Is it too early to say that things are flattening out? Well, Eve, what the authorities are saying is look at the figures. Now, we've got 727 deaths in the past 24 hours. That's the last figure they gave to us. A tragic number and continues to be tragic when you look at the overall death toll of more than 13,000. But uh, it's still important to note it's the lowest death toll in a week. And uh, as far as the new active cases are concerned, yes, uh, we've seen a jump, uh, an increase a little, but it does confirm in in a, in a broader sense the general declining uh, trend or at least that plateau that the authorities are talking about. Two weeks ago, the rates of new infection was some three or four times uh, the figure that it is right now. And so that is why the authorities are saying, look, it's important to resist the temptation to lower one's guard. The lockdown efforts are working. They've extended it to the 13th of April precisely because of that. And they don't want to see a situation where because of the irresponsibility of a few, it will create damages for the rest of us, is what the Prime Minister said. Indeed, the Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte confirming, as you mentioned there, the extension of the lockdown. Also uh, talking about Italy being in phase one of what he predicts will be three phases in handling this crisis. Yes, I mean, phase one, we're still deep in the emergency. We need to ensure the lockdown is in place, calling on people to stay at home and only come out when necessary. Phase two, he says, it's called living with the virus. And that will be an easing off, a slow easing off, but at the same time, keeping track of fresh cases to prevent new clusters forming and the pandemic raising its head once again. Then a third phase will be an eventual return to normal social and work life. That said, though, that appears to be a while away. And the fear right now is not just of the virus, but also the fear of those who are living in a situ situation where they don't have enough food. We're hearing of stories from the south of Italy in particular, which is generally poorer and has a higher unemployment rate of of supermarkets calling on the police to maintain law and order as the people who've entered and left without paying. And so, uh, as well as other stories of people begging outside banks for loans. So it's a dire situation, and which is why the authorities are saying that they're providing financial aid uh, for the people in the South, although the officials there say that this is simply not enough. So it's a two-pronged situation of fighting the virus, but at the same time dealing with its economic consequences. OK, Seema, for now, thanks indeed for that update. Seema Gupta, there, bringing us the latest from Rome.